Uh, you know, it doesn't matter really where you look. China has infiltrated the public sector, the private sector, uh, not only in this country, but around the world. Its Silk and Road Initiative is more like an octopus that's going to strangle uh, governments, strangle business. In fact, China raiding U.S. businesses, arresting workers. Uh, tell me about this. This is apparently happening. It's a very risky corporate landscape. When you get into bed with the Chinese Communist Party, uh, they're in charge of everything, right? Absolutely. When American business or even any Western companies doing business in China, they're not going to compete with the CCP-controlled enterprises on the leveling field because those state-owned companies will always enjoy the government subsidy. And then the government will also force the American companies to surrender technology, the know-how, the investment. But at the end of the day, the CCP can raid any American company at its own whim. So I don't understand why corporate America still wants, does not want to decouple from the CCP. I mean, to me, this is like displaying a Stockholm syndrome where uh, bondages, uh, where hostages are developing a psychological attachment to the captors. So uh, Elon Musk was making a trip while you were on vacation. And so he basically said Tesla will not decouple from the CCP because he's kowtowing to the CCP leadership and he wants the CCP give him more permission to expand the Tesla factory. Now, now, and this uh, yeah. is really interesting. I mean, this is really interesting to us here uh, on this side of the political equation, and I say that because Elon Musk came along, bought Twitter for $44 billion, opened it up for more robust conversation, at least that was the indication. There's still some question about how robust that is, but uh, he is a free enterprise capitalist individual, but yet he takes government handouts wherever he can get them, whether it's from the United States or from China, and he'll cozy up to just about anybody, Nicole. That's the way it looks, doesn't it? I mean, I wonder why he doesn't want to open the uh, Tesla factory in the great state of Michigan and why the great state of Michigan allowed the CCP to open a battery factory in Grand Rapids. I mean, this whole thing does not make sense. And you know what? You talk about Elon Musk's 44 billion takeover of Twitter. Guess who funded largely that takeover? It's the CCP money. It's 800 $800 million from Sequoia Capital China and $500 million from Binance. Both are 100% CCP money. And also in the uh, Twitter congressional hearing, there's CCP spies on Twitter's payroll. I mean, Elon Musk is, is not a free speech absolutist. He's not to be a fair. free market. He's not a free market uh, enterprises either. Yeah. 